So our coverage of Democracy 2014 is focusing today on the race for Michigan's Attorney General. Chuck Stokes sat down with Bill Schuette, who's running for re-election. And welcome back to this segment of Democracy 2014. Joining me now is a man you've seen here before, Bill Schuette. He is Republican from mid-Michigan, and he is indeed the Attorney General of this great state, and we appreciate you coming back in. Great to be with you, it's Chuck. It's always great to be with you. Excited to be here on Democracy 2014. Why should people re-elect you to that position? You know, I was elected as Attorney General four years ago to uh, solve problems and provide solutions. And that's what I've done as Attorney General. And the thing I've learned most of all, that if you listen to people, if you listen to a victim of human trafficking, it underscores why I put together uh, the Commission on Human Trafficking, which has, imposes new tough penalties on the traffickers and the Johns that uh, traffic young women in the sex uh, slave market, and it reinforces why we added uh, additional protections to victims of human trafficking. So if you listen to people and you're on receive instead of broadcast, you can solve problems. And we've done that also with uh, uh, the rape kits, you know, these DNA evidence boxes and we're on a shelf in Detroit. Well, we changed that. Now, my, I required an uh, examination of these DNA evidence boxes so we can provide justice to the victims, healing for the victims, and put these rapists behind bars. You have attacked your opponent for not having enough federal prosecutorial experience. Um, but the longest serving attorney general for this state, who they affectionately call the Eternal General, um, really pursued consumer related type of issues. Is that really a key criteria for the job? Well, I think experience counts. And I've spent six years in the courtroom as a judge. I spent four years as attorney general. And I have a broad portfolio uh, standing up for consumers and the new propane uh, sanctions I imposed in a over $500,000 settlement to propane users in the state of Michigan. And I think Brooks Patterson uh, uh, put it best. Brooks Patterson said, well, if um, resume inflation uh, was a disease, then Professor Totten would be you know, dead by dinner. And I guess the point is, is that I don't suffer from resume inflation and what squarely what I'm doing is talking about my record as a voice for victims standing up for the pensions of cops and firefighters here in the city of Detroit. People had a tough job whose pensions and uh, retirement future were up in the air. I enforced and defended Michigan's Constitution. I fought side by side with cops and firefighters and that's why I'm so delighted to have the endorsement of the Detroit Police Officers Association, Fraternal Order Police, the Police Officers Association of Michigan, those people who occupy that fragile space between chaos and order, they're on my side with Bill Schuette. Mr. Attorney General, you have been operating in a state capital where the GOP has controlled everything. If one of those houses flip back and all of a sudden you've got sort of a mixed political party government there, will you be able to still do your job and defend Democrats as well as Republicans? Well, you know, I have a, a record after the f uh, past four years of bipartisanship. The Commission on Human Trafficking included uh, Democrats, Republicans, uh, uh, people to the left, people to the right. We bridged that uh, ideological divide, and whether it's Phil Kavanaugh, Rashida Tlaib working with Bill Schuette, we solved problems and put together the Michigan Commission, Commission on Human Trafficking. And I'm working with Kim Worthy, uh, our talented prosecutor here in Wayne County. We're working together to examine these DNA evidence boxes, these rape kits, and gosh, across the state in Kalamazoo, working with a Democratic prosecutor on a cold case sexual assault issue. So the point is, my skill set as a judge, as attorney general, and I worked in the legislature as a congressman and a state senator, I know how the women and men of the legislature tick, no matter whether they're Democrat or Republican, I'm committed to solving problems, and that's what I'll do in the next four years. Your opponent has gone across the state citing the fact that as close to 40 state and federal courts have basically said that same-sex marriage is, should be the law of the land and that you're on the wrong side of the fence. Are you out of touch? What I have done is defended the Michigan Constitution, the, the pension clause, standing up for cops and firefighters. I uh, defended the Natural Resource Trust Fund, making sure that legislators did not use that as a private piggy bank. Why? Because it's in our Constitution. And you what I've... change your position on oh, same-sex. No, no, and here's what I've said. I will defend and uh, the 
the decisions by the courts of our land. And if there were a clause in our Constitution that provided for uh, same-sex marriage, I would defend that like I defended the pension clause, the environmental trust fund clause, uh, the admissions clause. When I took an oath to serve as Attorney General, I do it completely. It's not an optional exercise where you can pick and choose. That's not how the Constitution works. All right, Mr. Attorney General, we're all out of time. We appreciate you coming in. Great to be here. Bill Schuette, Republican, seeking to be reelected as Attorney General of this great state.